Hello friends, this video on P block elements part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's discuss the trends in the carbon family now, group 14. We'll discuss electronic configuration, we'll discuss density, we'll discuss melting and boiling point, we'll also discuss atomic and ionic radii, we'll discuss ionization enthalpy, we'll talk about electronegativity, we'll talk about the metallic character trends, we'll talk about the oxidizing and reducing agent trend, we'll talk about the oxidation states, We'll talk about the nature of compounds and we'll also talk about the chemical properties. Similar to what we have done for group 13 elements, similar stuff we'll do for group 14 elements now. If you see the electronic configuration of group 14 elements, it is NS2 NP2 form. So you can see this is minus carbon, this is NS2 NP2 form, silicon NS2 NP2 form, germanium NS2 NP2 form, tin NS2 NP2 form, lead this NS2 NP2 form. Here NS6. And is 5, and is 4, and is 3, and is 2. This is a general electronic configuration. Let's talk about density. Density is what? Density is mass by volume. Correct. So since going down, the mass increased a lot. So generally the density will increase as we go down the Correct. This is the general trend. Silicon has some deviation here, but if you see, apart from that, it's generally increasing. Let's talk about the melting and boiling point. As I told, the melting and boiling point depends on the what? Structure a lot. And also on the bond strength. So structure is something which we can't tell just by looking at the compound that needs a real uh, investigation to find the structure. The chemists spend a lot of time to find the structure. They use all these uh, techniques where uh, they use the diffraction techniques and all those techniques uh, to find the structure. But bonds are something which we can guess just by the size. As I told that, uh, more the size, less in the bond strength. Right? This is something which we have discussed. Right? So I have two big uh, atoms, the bond strength is less. Two small atoms, the bonds are this, more. Correct. So going down the group, size is increasing. If size is increasing, this implies what? The bond strength will decrease. Correct? Because size is inverse proportional to bond strength. If bond strength is decreased, this implies that melting point and boiling point will decrease. And that's what you see, right? There is a decrease in melting point and boiling. Little bit increase, but general trend is to Decrease the. Uh, we'll not about talk about this uh, exception now because it is complex. And for this class, just understand the trend. The general trend is that the melting point and boiling point will decrease. because I told, told right. Although depends on the structure, so may, maybe it has different structure so that it has it increased. But general trend is that the bond strength will uh, decrease, so the melting and boiling point will. Let's talk about the atomic and ionic radius. You see the atomic and ionic radius. The moment you go down, the number of shells increase, right? And thus the atomic size increase. The charge of the nucleus increase, but due to signaling effect, uh, the effective nuclear charge is not that much. I mean, the increase in effective nuclear charge is not that much as you see the, the uh, as we compare with the number of shells. So going down, generally the atomic size increase. So you see, right? The atomic size generally increases as you go down. When you talk about the ionization enthalpy, that is also what is ionization enthalpy, is nothing but the energy required to plug one electron. Correct. So, as I told, the moment the example carbon is little uh, difficult to plug electron, but this guy it is easy to plug electron, right? Because size is more, and for this. Uh, lead, it is very easy to plug electron. Very easy to plug electron. So, see if you see in this case now, since uh, for carbon it is difficult to plug electron if you if I'm comparing this group, so carbon has more ionization enthalpy, it needs more energy. So, ionization enthalpy is more. Germanium is little easy, so it is less ionization enthalpy. Lead, all the more easy, so lead will have all the more less ionization enthalpy. So, if you see the general trend is if you go down the group, the Ionization enthalpy is decreasing because the energy required to plug electron is decreasing. Let's talk about the electronegativity. What is electronegativity? It is nothing but 
tendency to pull electron pair right that is also depending on the size so carbon carbon if you see will be able to pull more because it is small in size so effective nuclear charge here is more if you talk about lead this will be able to pull less why because the effective nuclear charge here is less why right? because even the lead has got more nuclear charge but the effective nuclear charge because of the sealing effect this less so it is depending on effective nuclear charge at you can say uh, the surface of atom right so here if you see the effective nuclear charge is less because the uh, more the size is less so it, it is able to pull more it is able to pull less so this guy has more electronegativity carbon has more electronegativity if you see the lead it will have less electron so general trend is typically it goes down let it increase there has to be some reason we will not discuss this reason in this class now maybe in the higher class but the general trend is that it decrease as we go down the trend because of the increase in size and the increase decrease in the effective nuclear charge at the surface correct because the new electrons will be which has to be pulled has to be somewhere here right somewhere here so here the more charge is there so it will be get affected more here the charge is less so it will be get it will be impacted less so if we talk about the metallic character for the group 14 if you see here right so this guy so carbon is non metal right and then we have metalloids and then we have metals so if you see going down the group my metallic character is increasing correct and why it is increasing because going down the group the tendency metal is what metal is something which has tendency to lose electron right from the outermost cell so the valence electron it is able to lose it is metal so if we go in on the group if you see these electrons this carbon since this electron is tightly held won't lose electron it will take electron these are in dicey state they sometimes lose sometimes gain but these guys in the atom size is more these guys can lose electron right so if you see these guys behave as metal, metal these guys metalloid some side metal some is non metal and carbon behave as a non metal because the size is less and the effective nuclear charge here is more so it believes in taking electron rather than giving electron here the electrons are not in that much control with this nuclei so it can lose electron we talk about the oxidation states now so since it is group 14 So fourteen minus ten is four. As I told, right, group number minus ten is the max number oxidation state it can have. So it has max plus four oxidation states. All these guys will have plus four oxidation state by default. But also, as I told, due to inert pair effect, right? So this guy will also give plus two. That is plus four minus two. That is plus two. Also, it will give. Right? This also give plus two. This form give me. Right? This guy gives plus two, plus two, and plus two also. and going now in the group the plus 2 is more stable for example in this case my lead lead is more happy with plus 2 than plus 4 why because the inert pair effect increases as we go down as we go down right the effective nuclear uh, effective charge on the nucleus is more and it can attract it can pull the s electrons more so the s orbitals don't pick part in the reaction so that's why if we go down the plus 2 is more stable right so uh, pv plus 2 is more stable than pv plus 4 so this inert pair is more prominent as we go down the group this we have discussed in the earlier uh, uh, what do you call it? the nitrogen sorry the boron family trends also right same thing here also if you go down the group the inert pair effect increase since the inert pair effect increase the plus 2 is more stable here as compared to plus 4 for lead and this is the trend lead plus 2 is more stable then we have tin little less stable and germanium plus 2 is little less stable let's talk about the reducing properties now so as i told that uh, it has plus 4 and plus 2 oxidation state both correct exist so that's why it exists act both as oxidizing and reducing agent also why see the one in the plus 
will act as a reducing agent because it will try to get oxidized to plus four. The one in the plus four, sorry, the one in the plus four will try to act as a oxidizing agent because it will try to become to plus two. The one in the plus two will try to act as a reducing agent because it will try to oxidize itself to plus four. Correct? As I explained this concept, reducing agent is one which get oxidized himself or itself. Right? So if it is in plus two, it will become plus four. So it is reducing property. Talk about oxidizing property. If it is in plus four, it will become plus two. So it, it reduces itself and it will oxidize something else. Correct. So if you see your example, germanium and tin, we compare. So germanium, if you see, as I told, it will have plus four is more stable here. Plus four is more stable. Correct. So if I have something in GE plus two, this will act as a reducing agent because GE plus two is unstable and will try to form G plus four. Correct. This is stable. So since it will form G plus four, it will oxidize itself. So it will act as a good reducing agent. But since G is very costly, is rare. So instead of that, tin is used. For tin also, plus four is more stable than plus two. So if I have tin in plus two state, it will try to form tin in plus four state. Correct. This is unstable. Hope you are understanding. Correct. Since plus four is more stable, so in tin, tin in plus two states are good. Reducing agent because they oxidize themselves to become S N plus four. Example I can give you is you have Fe C three, you add S N C L two, right? So S N C L two this becomes F E C L so the F E C L three and S N C L two gives F E C L two plus S N C L four. This is the reaction. Correct. So if you see this guy, iron was at plus three. This became plus two. So iron got reduced. Tin was at plus two. It became plus four because plus four is more stable. So tin got oxidized and iron got reduced. So tin is acting as a reducing agent. Let's talk about a unique property which is there in the carbon family. It's a very unique actually. Its property is called catenation. And this is nothing but catenation. Is nothing but the property to form big chain by Forming a bond with the same element or with other elements, form big chain. For example, this one, right? It's form a big chain. These all are nothing but carbon. They're all carbon. It all depends on the atom, atom bonds. And this property of catenation decreases as we go down. So, if you see, carbon has more exhaustive property of catenation. There are more carbon uh, long chains come on. Silicon has that less. If you go down the group, it almost decreases. So. Catenation property is a very good property, critical property for carbon family, and that's the reason why we have the whole organic chemistry. And this property decreases as we go down the group in carbon family. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.